I'm Suzanne Murdoch and welcome to Series 2 of Powering Productivity. Each episode I explore the energy that connections, expertise and being in your best flexible working environments can bring to not just your business but to your whole life. So let's get started. Hi there, Suzanne Murdoch here. I've spoken to six wonderful women this series, drawing in threads of sustainability, flexibility and work-life balance. In episode one, I spoke to Emily Crosby, media producer and consultant about making media work. One of the key things is getting your strategy right. So really honing in on what what the purpose, what the goals of your podcast are, and being clear with your audience what you're putting out. Because I think a lot of people start off from the wrong angle. I need to have a podcast, what should it be about? Whereas if you have some information you want to put out there and a podcast suits it as a format, that is the correct direction. Russell Zaytab from Silk Mentoring spoke eloquently about sustaining energy and focus in life and the workplace back in episode two. We are grounded in nobility, which is, I believe, the highest human capacity. Let us strive to become the best, best version of ourselves so we can actually work together, so we can actually see each other as equals, so that we can you know, collaborate and, and just find sustainable solutions. Episode three's guest, Melanie Bernier, founder of the Work Hub in Switzerland, had lots of insights into the future of flex working and co-working spaces, providing the balance between productivity and social interaction. And really for me, um, the whole co-working idea is, of course, there are the benefits of sharing a place, sharing costs, but it's not the main point. For me, the main point is really what you get as an individual, as a human, on the human interaction, on the benefits you get to see other people, you get to see other jobs, other life and, and and that's what makes it rich. In episode four, Victoria Salomon, founder of Ixchel Massage and Movement Therapies, illustrated humanity in the workplace with her own personal experience of physical and mental breakdown and her inspired and inspiring recovery. Life is going to happen. We are all going to have periods of extreme stress. We are all going to have deadlines. We are all going to get ill at some point or another. But the question is, what is our level of resilience? How are we taking care of our, the car? Yeah. So that when that happens, we have the capacity to recover. Tara Prendergast of the Biscuit Business School talked to me about showing up as yourself in business in episode five. Keeping ourselves curious, asking the questions, not being afraid to be laughed at, showing your vulnerability. I think that's where courage comes in business and in life is it's okay to show your vulnerability. It's okay to ask the question and be laughed at. It's not, it's part of your journey of learning. And in episode six, Coach Mel Wiggins shared her wisdom on sustaining your business in a way that works for you. I mean, so many of us are just kind of running businesses based on like a an old outdated model of how you do things and not really grasping and exercising the full autonomy of being a woman in business that can recreate and shape this to however she wants it to look um, and still be successful and still feel fulfillment. I'm taking a break over the summer. Then I'll be back later in the year with a whole new selection of interviewees. In the meantime, you can find me at thehubneary.com and listen to any of my past episodes there. Have a lovely summer. Thanks for listening. And don't forget that all the episodes and links are on our website, thehubneary.com. While you're there, you can stay tuned with what we're up to by subscribing to our mailing list. Subscribe on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. And thanks again for being here. Powering Productivity is presented by me, Suzanne Murdoch, and produced by Emily Crosby Media.